Welcome, Fuzz fans, to the two-hour special about the Marshmallow Overcoat. What is a Marshmallow Overcoat? Who were they? Where were they? We're going to talk about it. We're going to hear about it in the next two hours. My name is Timothy Gasson. I'm your host, and I was the vocalist for the band for all 25 years from 1986 to 2011. And in the next two hours, we're going to uh, hear what the heck we were doing for 25 years in garage and psych music. And we're going to start it off right now with our 2005 A-side. It's Fly Away by the Marshmallow Overcoat. Do you want to fly now? Because I take that tree every single night. I can show the way now. When the sun is up and you can dance just right. I never wonder why, but it's not. Oh, 
You know there's something uh, Something strange about the sun uh, She's my special friend, you know uh, She's the only one You know sometimes uh, When I am alone There's something strange about the sun That makes it my open home Come on! And that was Something About the Sun. Actually, the second version of the song we recorded as the Marshmallow Overcoat. This uh, re-recorded version is from 2005. We recorded it especially for our first Best Of collection. We had a two-disc collection out. It was an audio CD and a video DVD. And the band recorded a few new songs, especially for this Best Of. It was called uh, 26 Ghosts. Uh, the Best of the Marshmallow Overcoat, 1986 to 2005. And we re-recorded Something About the Sun. That was a song that was recorded in a very different arrangement on our very first album in 1987. Uh, before that, it was Come Today. That's from the Psilocybic Mind EP. And we started off this Marshmallow Overcoat two-hour special with Fly Away, which was the A-side from a 2005 Vinyl 45. Once again, my name is Timothy Gasson. I'm your host. I'm the vocalist for the Marshmallow Overcoat. And uh, we're just getting started with uh, kind of an exploration of the last 25 years of garage and psych music that the Marshmallow Overcoat foisted on the world throughout the cosmos. So this special is designed not only for the garage fan who's heard about the Marshmallow Overcoat uh, or have bought one of our albums uh, over the last few decades, but it's also for the garage and psych fan who may have never heard of the Marshmallow Overcoat before. We hope to introduce you to our sounds 
and uh, and what we were doing uh, since the mid 1980s um, in trying to spread the gospel of garage and psych music. And one of the things that we always wanted to do was to introduce um, some of the classic 1960 bands and songs that we loved to a new audience. And that's what we do on this next track. This is, of course, A House Is Not A Motel from the classic Los Angeles band Love here on the Marshmallow Overcoat Special. Thank you. 
about you. You've lost control, there's nothing more you can do. So look into the mirror and stop the hands of time. But look into the mirror and stop the hands of time. We pull the strings, you walk in line as your door. The sun has set, there's nothing left you can hold. So look into the mirror and stop the hands of time. But look into the mirror and stop. Right here on the Marshmallow Overcoat special. Uh, that's from the Light Show album. Before that, you cannot stop the Hands of Time, T Y M E, and Santa Fuzz, the uh, timeless holiday classic with a lot of fuzz and some ho ho ho's in there. And we started off that set with A House Is Not a Motel, a cover of the classic love song. Once again, my name is Timothy Gass, and I'm the guru of Garage and your host for this Marshmallow Overcoat. Uh, special. We're exploring the last uh, 25 years of our uh, garage fuzz. Now, that 2008 album was uh, especially interesting because 
uh, we had a new keyboard player in the group, Bill Kersenberger, uh, who joined longtime uh, uh, Marshmallowers, uh, Scott Gaston and myself and others. Now, if you're interested in the Marshmallow Overcoat, there's lots of ways to hear uh, more about us and to contact us. So uh, first of all, go to our Facebook page. We have a Facebook page for the band. Um, just to type in Marshmallow Overcoat. Now remember, Marshmallow is spelled with with A's. There are no E's in marshmallows. We're not mellow. There's nothing mellow about this band. So type in Marshmallow Overcoat and find our Facebook uh, page. From there, you're going to find Garage Nation Records, which is a record label that I run that puts out our sounds and other garage sounds. We have all 25 years of our sounds now remastered and available for digital download if you don't have one of our CDs or uh, one of our albums. Um, And you can also contact us. We've got uh, dozens of videos on, on YouTube and available on our Garage Nation uh, records page. So we hope that you go and investigate all this stuff and uh, take a listen and uh, see what the Marshmallow Overcoat is, is all about. Now, as you've heard already, we love fuzz. We love tremolo. We love uh, chiming 12-string uh, guitars. From our very best of album, we have a two-album, vinyl-only best of, called The Very Best of the Marshmallow Overcoat. It's just out recently. And here's a track that we recorded just for it, and it's only available there. It's the uh, uh, 12-string Rickenbacker-fueled Half a Life, here on the Marshmallow Overcoat Special. Thank you. 
something that I hate. Hey, yo, hate is everything I love. just returned from the beyond that's a track from the marshmallow overcoats very best of two album set before that your love kind of uh our uh tribute in a way to the sound of the music machine when i hear that track i always think uh, we sound a little bit like the music machine there uh, one of my favorite bands of of all time and i think that track has a little bit of that flavor and we started off that mini set with half a life uh, all of those tracks were from our recently released uh, two vinyl album set, The Very Best of the Marshmallow Overcoat, which uh, collects about 30 of what we think are some of our best songs that we recorded from 1986 to 2011. And that's the uh, focus of our two-hour special right now. We're talking uh, and listening to two hours of 
the marshmallow overcoat. So those three songs were recorded specifically for the, the best of it's the only place that they're available. I love the beyond the last track you heard because, uh, it's one of the first songs I ever wrote using the Mellotron, which of course, uh, you all remember, um, that the Beatles and the Moody Blues especially made so popular in the 1960s on songs like Strawberry Fields Forever. I love the Mellotron. There are so many wonderful songs that the Mellotron, uh, has. And that's a song that I wrote specifically on the Mellotron. It's interesting when you have a new sound or a new instrument and you start to figure out what exactly it does. Um, uh, if you're lucky, it inspires you to write a very specific kind of song. And uh, within just a little while of me starting to play with the Mellotron, that song came to me. And it's, and it's one of our favorites. It's the last song on the record. It's a, probably the last song the Marshmallow Overcoat will ever record. That's right. Get out your handkerchiefs. It might be the last track we ever record, and it's the last track on our very best of record. Very proud of it. Um, uh, continuing on in our two hour uh, overlook of the Marshmallow Overcoat, uh, we're going to get a little Baroque on you. This is uh, from the Touch of Evil album, Our Love Will Survive, on the Marshmallow Overcoat special.
summer's gone, the fight again. Winter's won. Summer's lost, the night again. Seasons run. Summer's lost, the sight again. Winter's won. Summer's lost. That was Summer's Lost from the Touch of Evil album by the Marshmallow Overcoat. All of the songs from this last set were from that album. Before Summer's Lost, we had Oceans From Home, another one of my favorite tracks because it's so simple and uh, has a wonderful cello part written by Deborah Dickey, our very talented keyboard player, um, who helped with some arrangements when we had other instruments to, uh, to bring in. And uh, so that's an unusual song uh, for us, but I, uh, one of my favorites. Before that, Kiss the Tears, uh, a song uh, that has a lot of harpsichord in it. And this harpsichord was one of the heaviest instruments I have ever had to contend with getting in and out of a recording studio. But we think it was worth it because um, I think it has a wonderful song and a uh, wonderful sound. And before that, we started the set off with Our Love Will Survive, which is probably the biggest kind of production number the Marshmallow Overcoat ever did. Uh, This was after we came back from Europe uh, for our first European tour. Um, And and, uh, we were a pretty darn good band at that that point. But we never wanted to lose touch with our garage roots. And we always went back to doing some really crude, um, tremolo, fuzz-laden garage because that's where our our roots really are. As you'll hear in uh, this next song, from the Psilocybic Mind EP, here's the title track, Psilocybic Mind on the Marshmallow Overcoat Special. When I awake in the midnight hour, I search the hand, Psilocybic Power. Yellow, red, orange, blue, and green. A hidden world I've never seen I searched for my brain But I left it behind I don't think the same With my sins I make my
telescope in your mind It's called the night show But it comes on heavy And calm Silent, inward moving, people dancing everywhere. People moving on the ceiling, sweating lines that go nowhere. See the band with twisted faces, bending endless notes in time. Pushing buttons, shaking their hair, shoulder length approaching mine. The rabbit, the rabbit, rabbit, rabbit. command. It's weird color, strange noises, weird things, time, space, moving everywhere. Time, space, moving everywhere. You just heard the title track from The Light Show album. That's one of our very most psychedelic tracks. I really, really still like that song. A heck of a lot. It was a lot of fun recording as well. Before that, we had The Knights of Fuzz. Of course, uh, not only uh, uh, from the Psilocybic Mind EP, one of our uh, most known songs, it's also the theme song for my Knights of Fuzz book, and video DVD. Perhaps if you haven't heard of the Marshmallow Overcoat, you've heard of the Knights of Fuzz. It's a book about the entire garage and psychedelic uh, movement since about 1980 to now. Uh, we have a new 500 page book that has just come out and a video DVD uh, of some of uh, my favorite garage and psych bands um, as well. And uh, you can go uh, to our Facebook page for the Marshmallow Overcoat and find out all about that. There's also a Facebook page for the Knights of Fuzz. That's K-N-I-G-H-T-S, Knights of Fuzz. Uh, go to Facebook. You can find out uh, all about uh, the book in the DVD. And the Knights of Fuzz song uh, is, uh, is the theme song. We use it in the DVD. Before that, the spell I'm under. And we started off that set with Psilocybic Mind, the uh, title track from the Psilocybic Mind EP. My name is Timothy Gass, and I am the guru of Garage and your host for this Marshmallow Overcoat special. Uh, I wanted to give a special shout out for that last set to the drummer on all of those tracks. Yes, that's my brother, Scott Gasson. I'll take credit for my brother, Scott Gasson, um, that he's my brother at least, um, who's the drummer on, on all those tracks. Uh, played with the Marshmallow Overcoat for many of the 25 years uh, that the band existed. And that's some of his absolute best work uh, that you heard in that set, but you're going to hear him throughout these two hours. That This is the interesting thing. Well, well, I'm the only member of the band who was in the band for all 25 years. We were so fortunate to have so many talented musicians play in the band, many of them for many, many years, just not for the entire 25 years. 
So um, uh, I, I always... <laughs> I always want to make sure that people understand that while I'm the voice that they hear in all the tracks for the 25 years, there are an amount of incredibly talented musicians that made our sounds uh, possible. Um, and, and speaking of uh, talented musicians, uh, I, I think they're all on display here on one of our uh, most known tracks. Here's the title track from the Beverly Pepper EP. Yes, it's Beverly Pepper here on the Marshmallow Overcoat Special. Oh, you are very 
just heard I Love the Time by The Marshmallow Overcoat. Before that, 13 Ghosts. Perhaps the most well-known song by The Marshmallow Overcoat. We had a MTV video that was played a lot and still gets played each Halloween on MTV um, for the for the song 13 Ghosts. Before that, A Thousand Years Ago, and we started out that set with Beverly Pepper. That's the title track from the Beverly Pepper EP. It is hard for me to believe that now in 2015, uh, it's the 25th year anniversary of the release of Beverly Pepper. Um, uh, This record has been out of print for a long time now. It sure would be nice to have it reissued. That's a hint to any of you record company folks out there who are listening within the reach of my voice. It's time to reissue Beverly Pepper. Uh, um, still, I think, a, a really interesting kind of benchmark of the garage psych, uh, movement for our band, uh, where we were bridging the psychedelic and, uh, the garage elements. And I especially want to ha- uh, give a shout out to our bassist, Dan McGee, very talented musician who, um, uh, helped bring the glue to the Beverly, uh, Pepper EP. So, um, obviously if you have a song called 13 ghosts, your follow up by the Marshmallow Overcoat, is going to be called The Mummy.
That was Dia de los Muertos by the Marshmallow Overcoat from the Touch of Evil album. Before that, we had Your Lost Little Girl, a song by The Doors. Now, we didn't record that song in, in the studio ever, but uh, it was included on our Fuzz, Screams, and Tambourines live album. Before that, Dead of Night, um, a track that uh, is on our very best of two album set, but really was not available before then. It was an outtake um, and was a bonus track somewhere, uh, I think. But uh, after hearing it after more than 20 years, um, I think it really captured uh, what our sound is, is all about. Before that, also from our live album, ESP, which of course you Garage fans will know that is actually the song titled LSD by The Pretty Things. Well, garage groups uh, in the 60s like to cover other bands, change them slightly, and then give them a new title. And that's what a band did in the 1960s with The Pretty Things LSD. They renamed it ESP, probably hopefully uh, hoping that they could get some radio airplay if the song wasn't called LSD. Um, and we did our version as as ESP. We started off that set on the Marshmallow Overcoat two-hour special with The Mummy. Uh, another song that uh, we think is probably one of our better known. We had an MTV video for that uh, song as well that got a lot of airplay, still gets um, some some airplay. Um, and was a lot of fun. And uh, we, we had some different musicians in the band by this time in the, in the early 1990s. So uh, I'd like to acknowledge Harry Boland and Ernie Mendoza, two really talented guys who came in and kept our momentum going and uh, brought different sounds uh, uh, to the band. So we're going to continue on on our to uh, our special. Our debut album called The Inner Groove was recorded in a friend's um, living room. Um, and it had a great sound, but it was just a, a crude garage recording. So we'll start off this set from the debut inner groove album with psilocybin explosion. Hey! <laughs> 
You're listening to the Marshmallow Overcoat Special. My name is Timothy Gasson, the guru of Garage, and I'm your host. I was the singer in the band from 1986 to 2011. That's 25 years of Garage and Psych Music. And we went back to the debut album for the Marshmallow Overcoat from 1986. That's the Inner Groove album. And uh, you heard I Could Love Today. Uh, Before that, Have Love Will Travel, of course, uh, a great uh, uh, song made famous by the Sonics. And any young garage band, of course, listens and tries to play songs by the Sonics. And that was uh, the one that made it to our debut album. Before that, She's So Satisfying, which is one of the earliest uh, original songs I wrote uh, for the band. Um, And I still dig it. And we started off that set with Psilocybin Explosion. Um, a very unique drum pattern there, uh, played by John Brett, very talented drummer here in Tucson, Arizona, the home of the Marshmallow Overcoat. And there's an example of a simple kind of song that we start to rehearse, and then a musician has a really interesting idea to make it a little different, to, to add something to it and kind of raise it off of the garage floor. And that's what John Brett uh, did with that track. Um, and because of that, because of that debut album, we were able to uh, record it in the living room. We were able to move on into a real studio and start to explore more sounds. I, I, I talked about earlier um, how even though it wasn't our, our main um, uh, interest, we love 12-string folk rock. And uh, so we knew that we were developing as a band in 1988 uh, when I wrote this track, which also became an MTV a video. You can see the video Uh, for it on our DVD as part of our 2005 Best of set. So here's a a song that we'll talk about uh, afterward that uh, is pretty important for the the band. Uh, It was also the A-side for a 45 in 1988. Here is the Marshmallow Overcoat and Suddenly Sunday. Some more. You might be another man's pleasure, but you know that you walk through my door. But suddenly it's Sunday and you've gone, and suddenly the sun seems to be all gone. And suddenly it's Sunday and you've gone away. You can't be just anyone's treasure. You know that 
Welcome back to the Marshmallow Overcoat Special. I'm Timothy Gasson. I'm your host, and I'm the one playing the songs. So what did we hear? We heard uh, tracks from our uh, second album called Try On the Marshmallow Overcoat. Get it? Try On the Marshmallow Overcoat. Uh, that was A Single Tear. That's a song that uh, I remember uh, playing in 1988 or 89 in Los Angeles at a big show with a, a lot of some of the, the best garage groups of that of that era. And we opened our set with A Single Tear. And the Pandoras, the all-girl group, uh, um, of course, legendary group fronted by Paula Pierce, um, came running out, out of their dressing room to hear, who is this band? They didn't know who we were. And, uh, and we, we sounded pretty good that night and they came running out to, uh, uh, to see who we were. So that was fun for us. Of course, Arthur Lee from love was right in the front row, um, watching us and came backstage to talk to us. So that was very exciting. Um, and, uh, before that also from the second uh, album, try on the marshmallow overcoat when it's dark, we started off that set with suddenly Sunday, a great 12 string, uh, uh, song, uh, one of the most known by, uh, by the band and it still sounds pretty good all these uh, years later it was on the try on the marshmallow overcoat album and before that was the a side for uh 45 on get hip records and all these years later uh, we're still thankful to the record companies who helped us put out put out all these records lee joseph at dionysus records of course uh, greg kostelich at get hip records there were many other record labels in europe and in the united states that uh that has helped us uh, put out our records. And of course we have, um, great gratitude for that. Um, but we're not done with, uh, the second album, try on the, the marshmallow overcoat. Uh, here's a song that, uh, we recorded several times. It's called echoes in time. Um, the version that you're going to hear here, I remixed in 2013 and it's on our very best of two album set that just came out recently. And it's, if any of you have the try on the marshmallow overcoat album, uh, put on the vinyl after you hear this version. It's a really, really different version. I've edited it. I've completely remixed it. It sounds like a completely different song in many ways. And there was an alternate vocal track that I used instead. So the um, version that's on the vinyl sounds nothing like this. And I like how it turned out here in 2013. I'm usually against trying to change history like this, going back and remixing and changing songs. But I think it really helped this song. Um, it's called Echoes in Time, and it's by the Marshmallow Overcoat.
I took a groovy little trip the other night. I saw your form so beautiful and right. I've been hair, blue eyes, and angelic face. But now you're gone, you're gone, without a trace. Welcome back to the Marshmallow Overcoat Special. I'm your host, the guru of Garage, Timothy Gasson. Before that, we had Barely Seen You, a wonderful track written by our bass player, Matt Griffin. And, uh, and he brought several really good songs to us that we recorded, including Barely Seen You. Uh, a little shout out to uh, 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 Matt's brother, Mike, a uh, guitarist, who also joined the band for a while and played with us. So this has been a brother affair, the Marshmallow Overcoat, my brother, Scott. Uh, the drummer and uh, Matt and Mike Griffin. And we started that set off with Echoes in Time, uh, an interesting 12 string um, garage psych song. Um, and Echoes in Time, you know, was the title of the first edition of my book about garage music, uh, which is now called The Knights of Fuzz. Uh, if you don't know about the Marshmallow Overcoat, maybe you've heard about the Knights of Fuzz book and DVD. It's now just out. Go to Facebook and join our uh, uh, Knights of Fuzz Facebook page. Find out about the uh, Garage in Psych movement um, from 1980 to today. We also have a video DVD. And go to the Marshmallow Overcoat Facebook page. It's spelled with an A, Marshmallow with an A. We are not mellow. And uh, you can find all about the uh, Marshmallow Overcoat as well. And, you know, it, it took us 25 years to get here, but we're almost done with this Marshmallow Overcoat uh, a special. I have a lot of gratitude 
to the uh, people throughout the garage psych world who helped make the marshmallow overcoat possible. We hope you, I, I hope, uh, and we hope that you'll go and uh, find our sounds. We have a two album, very best of record out now uh, on vinyl only. So I, I hope you find that. I hope you drop me a line. The guru of garage loves to hear from garage and uh, psych fans. And we'll uh, finish uh, up our Marshmallow Overcoat 25-year special with the song that started it all. Yes, in 1986, we recorded two songs in a, in a living room. Um, so we somehow figured out how to play them, and we recorded them. And lo and behold, a record label was interested in putting these two songs out as a 45. And the A-side is something we like to call Groovy Little Trip by the Marshmallow Overcoat.
That was a groovy little trip by the Marshmallow Overcoat, and that will finish up our two-hour special on the Marshmallow Overcoat. I'm your host, Timothy Gasson, the guru of Garage. I hope you'll drop me a line and find some of our sounds. And remember, all you need is fun.